The 40-episode Metropolitan show I Need to Conflict with the Breeze has passed the preliminary, featuring Gong Jun and Zhuang Chuxi, and the assumptions are full. The new film and TV show Circle is truly vivacious. Consistently, there are new works that have been settled in past the survey, which truly makes the crowd who like to sit in front of the television shows extremely energized. Following the survey of unbroadcast works, for example, To a Blustery Spot, Moonbeams on 1000 Pinnacles, and Lir Guang Yin, one more new show with a first-class male god has as of late passed the survey. Created by Shanghai Heavenly Gravity Media, the 40-episode contemporary metropolitan show I Need to Conflict with the Breeze featuring Gong Jun and Zhuang Chuxi has gotten a dispersion permit. Since the job of Wen Kexing in the request for mountains and streams became well known, Guang Jun's prominence has detonated, and his assets have soar. The entertainers he works with are likewise extremely well known. Comma I need to conflict with the Breeze three famous shows that poor person been circulated previously, and presently the new dramatizations have passed the audit. Seeing this mood will begin the dangerous screen predominance mode in 2023, we should anticipate it. Zhang Chuxi, who effectively escaped the circle with Feng Xian Gang's film Youth, has a very good quality face and a tall figure of 1.68 meters. Regardless of whether her works have not been out of the circle lately, she can in any case depend on her exceptional personality and design tantamount to models or expressiveness shows up brilliant and astonishes the crowd. Since she has turned into a famous bloom brought into the world during the 90s, she likewise holds a few motion pictures and television dramatizations to be communicated, and a similar screen strength mode is going to begin. Guangzhou and Zhuang Chuxi's screen CP is certainly brimming with features, also the expansion of Wu Zhuanai, Kao's hiding, Wei's hemming and other youthful entertainers. They are attractive mixes of attractive men and delightful ladies, and the assumptions are full. 02. Certain individuals disdain Sub anxious personality plan and the breeze blows Penelia. Should Zhao Liang bear the fault? Albeit The Breeze Blows Penelia has completed its finale, my advancement in following the show is moderately slacking, and I have just seen the 25th episode up until this point. The ongoing state of being is still in the phase of being sore everywhere, so this article will zero in on picking dry products, and won't prepare a lot for the plot. The book that Zhao Liang picked this time is adjusted from Anne's book I Can't Pass On. Anne's works are adjusted into film and TV shows, and the fame has never been low. Aside from experience, the rest are hits, and this wind-blowing Penelia is no special case. Like Huge Waterway, everything is great and tribute to delight, regardless of whether the crowd has not seen it, they have known about it. She is truly adept at composing tales about resilient ladies. Particularly the narrative of a tough lady who has a break with her unique family and really buckles down outside alone. Andy and Su Ming Gayu, and so on, all convey the shadow of makers. All things considered, Annie herself is a female chief, so the courageous women in her works pretty much allude to her previous experience, and she, when all is said and done, is the model of these characters. When Everything Is Great was broadcasting live, E. K. Ajin composed an extraordinary article about Annie and read the first novel cautiously. From the text, I feel that Annie has never accommodated with himself. Essentially, she didn't figure it would have required a settlement in any case. In this way, the courageous women in Anne's works are many times definitive and obstinate in character, getting out whatever they say. The equivalent is valid for Subangsha and the breeze blows Penelia. I once heard a voice on the web, discussing the subject of loathing Subangsha's personality plan. She feels that she has peculiar confidence in outsiders when she showed up on the stage, however she was sufficiently fortunate to meet a dedicated individual like Tong Xiaoki. Believing that she went toward the north to follow a gathering of older siblings to get the means to begin a business, yet she was sufficiently fortunate to purchase scrap steel from the liar's uncle. He figures her motivations to intrigue Jolie are not persuading, and the other party has never thought to be the issue according to the viewpoint of a money manager. She felt that she needed to show Chen Yuayu the steel manufacturing plant just to dazzle herself, and paying somebody to go with her was an invalid pay. Pause. The two siblings around me assisted manage the troublesome individuals, and the cash to purchase scrap steel in the north was the organization subsidizes spent by the future sweetheart. A concise outline of the above focuses is that Subangsha has acquired incredible riches and status with very little private exertion. 
Aside from the staggering karma and the corona of the champion, there is actually nothing. Certain individuals vented their feelings towards the job to Zhao Liyan, imagining that she didn't decipher the job of Su Bang well. These are two issues, how about we dismantle them? To start with, the entertainer sets the inquiry. As a matter of fact, Su Bang all the more reasonably presents the picture of an effective female chief. There has never been a deficiency of savvy finance managers in this world, yet it takes a karma and betting to make a fortune those suspicious voices above frequently disregard a significant element, which is fortitude and boldness. Believe it or not, Su Bangsha came here bit by bit by karma. Now and again she is silly and does things totally as per her own desires. Be that as it may, the huge supervisors are this way, they like to be dictator, and they are likewise somewhat outrageous and difficult. Money managers are basically speculators. In the event that you win the bet, you can transform yourself into a chief. On the off chance that you can't win the bet, keep on searching for chances to win the bet. The people who can't win the bet won't show up in the hero position of the television series. In the event that you need to pick a setting issue, that's what it is the breeze blows Penelia likely viewed as the impact of many variables, so some of Sue Banksh's ways of behaving were bundled as well kind. As a matter of fact, it is typical for a financial specialist to have a touch of heartless and noxious in his attitude. It isn't so much that it didn't show up in the play, however it didn't show up so completely. The first novel is clearly more in accordance with the genuine circumstance. Subsequently, on the off chance that you basically disdain the setting of the leader, Zhao Liang shouldn't assume the fault. In the wake of discussing the lady setting, we should discuss Zhao Liang. Many individuals have discussed the change, saying that she has made extraordinary leap forwards from puppetry to period dramatizations. As a matter of fact, since she featured in Satisfaction to 10,000 Families previously, I found a certain something, which is likewise the motivation behind why her way has become smoother and smoother. Zhao Liang's ongoing individual status is truly reasonable for assuming a part with some neurotic character. Her eyes are sparkling splendidly, since her presentation, the substance she communicates has slowly gone through earth-shaking changes. Presently she has a feeling of detachment that sees through the changes of the world, and she is likewise yearning for a state where feelings are imperceptible. It's simply still all the while, still during the time spent grabbing. Yet, Sue Bankshire's job itself is entirely appropriate for her.